Alrighty guys, welcome back to Florida Racing in F1. We are back and we are here at the beautiful track known as the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya. <clears throat> but anyways, so we are here and so what we're checking out is we got ourselves practice done and we're going to see if we can't uh, get some upgrades underway here. It looks like we can. We can get some brake calipers taken care of, so that would be helpful. It's uh, not going to get us a whole lot of... Uh, a giant upgrade but that is something that would help getting some better handling brakes taking a look here see if we got anything else sitting out that could be uh, upgraded we could go over and get some more engine power but I think really trying to get the handling is really what we need to focus on right now engine has been doing decent so we're gonna go ahead and get these catapers we're gonna we're gonna do it on the standard development because I don't want to waste resource points if we can help it so we got that already on the upgrade engine and everything looks good so no major wear issues that we need to uh, address there we got Nick DeFree sitting in 12th we got one point on the season so far so that's nice uh, we're gonna go ahead and head out to qualifying and uh, we'll be back to see what kind of setup we need to do for the race Alrighty guys, so welcome back. So taking a look here, we got ourselves a Nick DeFries up to 16th, so a little bit better over uh, two Williams cars, the two Haas and two Alfa Romero, so that's kind of nice to see. Uh, now what we were able to do is we were able to get to 5th. Now what we changed is I loosened up the uh, differential on, on throttle and I switched up the off throttle differential so changed both of those to try and help kind of stiffen us up uh, during um, off throttle because that is one thing I've noticed that off throttle the car gets very loose so just trying to uh, get that a little bit stiffened up and that seemed to help the car out a little bit for my driving style so and we just barely beat out Lando Norris there look at that so just by a tenth of a second that's that's the difference that's that's pretty crazy there so uh, yeah, not bad. Starting up in fifth, we'll see if we can hopefully not wreck it. The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? That day he took his first ever victory for Ferrari and we've had many more iconic moments since. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down to turn one at this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners but there's still a lot of high speed excitement to be found including the flat out turn three and the terrifying blind right of turn nine. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Verstappen, Ricardo, the Rainmaster and Norris, Sainz, Matsushita, Leclerc and Alexander Albon, Gasly, Ocon, Sergio Perez and Kvyat, Stroll, De Vries, George Russell and Kevin Magnussen, Latifi, Giovinazzi, Grosjean and Juan Manuel Correa. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. All right, so let's take a look at uh, pitch strategy here. So we got ourselves this right here, and so it looks like we have a fairly decent amount of speed there with uh, how long we're running the mediums. I almost kind of want to run those a little bit shorter to some extent. Let me see here. We're going to edit this just we'll lose a little bit of speed it says there but I just kinda like that a little bit better stint to add stint to move stint that sounds like that should work out pretty good for us there make sure we have that right there I kinda like that particular strategy we got ourselves 17 laps so we're gonna take our fuel down that's gonna give us a little bit more speed there to 18 uh, we will be saving just a little bit, but I think that should work out. Of course, we got a custom setup here, so let's let's actually take a look at here what we did. So we got uh, 
a bit more. Well, here's what we did with the differential. So a little bit. Well, actually, no. This switched back on me. Differential adjustment on throttle. Yeah, I had this a little bit on the lower side, and then I put this back up. Right, they just switched those so that off throttle we had a little bit more. Uh, just a little bit more. So that's basically all that we did. We got the 50% on the f uh, from front to the rear, so that's how we're doing that. And then uh, all the tire pressures, that's all the same. So there we go. We got that taken care of. We got that selected. And we are ready to go racing. Let's just not wreck it. So, alrighty guys. Let's get to work. Hamilton gets by on the outside there. We're going to be able to ooh, really get uh, get third there after the car came around. That was interesting. Never quite had a car do that in those particular turns. So that was interesting. We got somebody to uh, outside there. Yeah, we had Verstappen there. Yeah, having that lock a little bit more of a locked up off throttle differential in the turns that really does help with how the car handles so I do like that just a little bit more so right now this is what speed we have running on lean so we're saving fuel at the moment we're gonna be a little bit off right there for zapping stepping no he actually he didn't get by I missed the transition there but right now actually holding position pretty good so we're gonna keep the fuel where it is right now because running anything higher could potentially get the car unsettled and we just don't want to do that if we can help it so don't want to do that Lewis Hamilton with the fastest lap so far let's get to work here so on the streets for the next few laps we will be running higher fuel I can switch that back and forth fairly easily get that taken care of. I think I remember, yeah, hitting that curve. I think it bottoms out is what happens, and that's why that happens. So I forget how I do that, but I had it happen before, and that did not work out for me in the long run. So we actually improved our lap time just a little bit there. So we've been using a bit of overtake here throughout. Okay, kind of shortcut that a little bit too much there. Got to get into a rhythm. So uh, let's go to talking about what we need to do here. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes, nice entry turn, off throttle, off throttle, back to throttle. Make sure we don't spin out. That's the that's the worst transition right there that always gets me. Alright, on the brakes. Nice easy entry. Nice easy entry. A little bit of shortcut there, not too bad. Right, get the car nice and straightened out and hit the throttle. Sweet. Brakes nice and easy. Make sure we don't get too close to that curve right there because that will spin us up. We got Ricardo and the step and behind us. If we could get a podium. I would like that very, very, very much. Car actually feels really good today. Team did a good job. It's all up to uh, the uh, driver in the seat. And uh, yeah, big transition going from those NASCARs, stock car and stock trucks to uh, this right here. So we got to do a lot of work. I'm surprised that wasn't cutting. My palms are actually clammy from this, just because of uh, haven't done it that much in a while. So get back on track here. We got Verstappen going to pinch him. He's going to pinch us. And going to be able to get ourselves back in the groove here. We should. Yep, we'll come back out with that position. No damage as far as I can tell. Going to kind of shortcut that just a little bit. Here we 
we go there. So if Stappen's the one to look for, he definitely has more speed than we do, which is fine. We just need to put together good laps and have good handling. That's really all we got to do. And luckily, this is my favorite track, so that kind of helps. But you can see everybody's kind of stacked up behind me, whereas the Mercedes have just driven away. Which is just absolutely crazy how much they've driven away right there. So we're still running on lean. We're not overthrottling the car, not trying to get it loose or anything. Uh, we might become more aggressive. Yeah, we're going to keep the strategy that we're on, thanks. But what we might do is once we get... Okay, a little bit of corner cutting warning there, so keep an eyeball on that. So one thing we do have to do... We need to get that turn taken care of, but that's always been my worst turn. So get through this, no transition, kind of check everybody up there. With our strategy, there we go, nice and easy there. Ah, almost lost it completely. But yeah, just totally went to the throttle too soon in that turn, and that just almost brought us around. Uh, I think uh, definitely with that differential change that if we didn't have that uh, switched up we'd be really spun out. Okay, we got who we got okay, there. Gonna watch out for him. Ooh. Ties us on the slide a bit more. We do have the 50 brake bias so that's been helping us out. But yeah you can just see just in the brake a little bit there being aggressive. Side of the clear here, nice and easy, nice and easy. Actually, get that position. Stab and slow down in that turn, real, real bad. Probably just trying to check us up. Okay, gonna be a little bit less aggressive through here. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. A little bit too far to the outside. That's gonna let it clear to get by. To the outside of him here. Nicely done, able to outbreak him there. Don't want to hit that, that will cause us to uh, spin out there. And this has been one of my best races at this track in F1, so definitely appreciate that. Right, nice and easy, nice and easy. A little bit too low, but much better turn. Yep, we know, thanks. Our teammate has lost positions, it looks like, from what I can tell from the back there. Alright, we're on lap 6, so lap 7 is where we want to come in and do our pitting. Yeah, we just gotta really slow this down, a little bit too far to the outside, not too bad though. If we enter that section with too much speed, we're just we're totally going to spin out, and so that's why I just I, going wide kind of works for me because it slows me down. So this works enough. Step into here, we might be able to get past him again. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Right, here we go. He is slowed down for sure. He's going to get the little bit of position there. We're going to kind of bump here just a tad. We're going to get to the inside there. That's going to give us preferred lane. Where did Ricardo go? Did he pit? Is that what happened? Because Ricardo was up here, farther up. Oh, Ricardo pitted. So I'm, I have several guys pitted. Okay, so I'm not sure that's... Uh, must be their pit spots, but that's interesting because he had been up here in third. He 
interesting, okay. So, interesting strategy play there by Ricardo. Going to the pit early. Okay, a little bit overcooking there. Not too bad. So, pit entry is this lap or the next. And we're going to definitely come in this time now. Got a five second penalty there. Yeah, we got a lot of wear there, so definitely get that all taken care of. Yeah, we're paying a penalty right now. There we go. Guys can get back to work. Currently we are P17, so we got kind of thrown back there with the penalty, but we should be able to make up some ground here. I'm trying to get my uh, my adjustments back to where I need them. There we go. So penalty that hurt us pretty bad but luckily we were able to serve it so it won't be there at the end of the race so that's kind of nice but amazingly we've done really good at racing pretty clean without any major damage issues so I like that so we're going to be running standard here for the rest of the run a little bit of the teammates in the pits good to know I was running at the back of him he just was super slow in that corner there we got yeah, Fiat. Uh, uh, yeah, that guy. Anyways. I'm gonna double check to see. Looks like everything is good there, so no major damage. There's our teammate right there. Freeze, fresh tires there. Don't want to get involved with anything with him around. Get that back to standard here. Not sure why we switched out. All right. A little bit of nose bumping there. Be careful. Don't want to get any nose damage if we can help it. Nice to see DeFreeze actually gain some spots it looks like so far, so good job by him. Yeah, just trying to make a pass there, trying to keep the sport interesting. Don't mind me. Try and get past our teammate if we can here. And we're going to get past him pretty quickly, it looks like. So hopefully he can gain some speed. A pretty good transition there. We got Magnuson and Verstappen in front of us. We need to get those so we can get some points. So we've got one of the guy up there in front of the step and that we might be able to get as well. Ooh, what? Major check up there from Magnuson through that turn. We're definitely cooking some tires though. So we need to figure out how to be a little bit more gentle on the brakes. That's why that brake development might help us out a whole lot. Ooh, car almost came around on me there. Gonna try and overcook it again here into the turn. That's gonna get us to the inside. Nice, 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 nice. And we get the position over Magnuson. Nicely played, nicely played. So we know we have a passing zone right there. 
that when we need to, we can use. So that's good. Okay, we're going to totally overdo that. Get back into a good rhythm here. A little bit off there. Okay. We're going to hit the... Uh, Oh, I didn't even know there was an incident, so what was that about? Get ourselves 200 miles an hour there. Oop, oh boy, yeah, oh, almost forgot about that, so I totally ran that, and that, that that's a spin-out zone, so we cannot do that again. That stroll is out. I don't know if he was behind me or in front of me. I think in behind me what that was. Trying to catch up these two guys right here. A little bit too catty there. But we need points. And I would very much like to finish a race in the points versus uh, either finishing all the way back or just totally dominating. I'd like a little bit more consistency here. So if you can get that, I'd be very appreciative. Uh, Valerie Botas has set a uh, Fastest lap again there. Nice and easy through there. Around, 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 there we go. Slowly catching up to these two. Look at the yellow fact fall. Yep, we got another car there. Step. Okay, a little bit too cutty there as well, but didn't spin out, so we're good. This happened, I'm gonna get, try and get by uh, Gasly here. I'm gonna try and use a little bit more overtake throughout here, just to try and get up to these guys. Right there, Gasly, that's a point pain position there. And I'd very much much like to obtain that. I'd also like to get past Verstappen too, after he tried to spin me out, but uh, we will uh, forget about that for the moment. Alright, we're not gonna have... Yeah, not enough position to try and dive bomb him into that turn there. I'm gonna actually lose some position time there. Is Nick back in the pits? Oh, that must be delayed, or maybe he's heading to the pits. Maybe, uh, pits, maybe that's it. It's not our best lap there, a little bit off. Slowly getting up to Gasly here. I don't want to hit that. Gasly, he's slowing down just a little bit. He went way wide on that. Not sure why the car went like that. Yeah, we totally overcooked trying to do that. Totally missed the zone. Be able to get that done. Just try to send it in there too hard. Just did not work. Let's see if we can't get up to him here. Not gonna get to him. To his outside, that's going to get us the position. Got a little bit of a warning, luckily, no penalty. And we have got ourselves a points paying position for the moment. And I 
very much like to go and get Verstappen's uh, position if I can. A little bit. Okay, that's going to put us a three second penalty. Yeah, we already got one. So we're going to need a lot of speed to be able to get to the stopping. And ooh, totally did that. And we're just going to totally lose it here. Send us around into the dirt. Well, that was a total uh, bummer of the day, but yeah, just totally got off track there and then got sent around by uh, Perez there. I'm gonna have to remember that one. But yeah, I think, let's see here. Yeah, tires just started wearing there, started losing grip, so. Too aggressive and uh, just not enough tire to be able to benefit from it, unfortunately. Yeah, we don't really care at this point, unfortunately, so we're going to go ahead and come in. Yep, got it. So we get a car fixed up here. Got a few other guys pitting here as well with all of that, so go ahead and get fixed. So that's a bummer, had a really good race going on there, just totally lost it up here in the braking zone and then obviously just got sent around. So uh, that's a real, real bummer, looking at top 10 with points paying, but uh, one of the best races we've had at the track so far just for consistent lap time, so that helps, but uh, yeah, just ended up not not being able to get it uh, taken care of at the end and obviously we still got Nick DeFreeze having a pretty low points paying day as well so we just gotta work on all of that, get the handling, get the brakes, all that upgrade and stuff so but yeah just not one of our best races uh, results for how much we did. I mean we did a lot today that was really impressive but just could not get it done so that's a bummer that is for sure a major bummer. I'm going to come around to collect the flag here as uh, we're lapped down. So there we go. All done. Yep. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Another Spanish Grand Prix is over, and what a special race it was. Anthony, tell me, 
what was it that helped them achieve this success? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ant, who would you say is a contender for Driver of the Day? It's got to be Valtteri Bottas, a commanding performance that I think had the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. It's time to check out the Constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, good work from Racing Point this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. Yep, so we got uh, Antonio Giovinazzi, Carrera, and uh, us ended up uh, lap down there. Also with penalties, so that didn't help as well. And then, of course, uh, Lance Stroll ended up uh, being knocked out. But yeah, Sergio Perez sending us around. That did not help us out at a bit. Uh, Nick DeFries was able to improve his position, so good job by him. And uh, obviously, Mercedes just dominating as always. So, but yeah, that's a bummer finish. That is a bummer. All right, I guess so. We're back here, so let's take a look at what we got. We can get some resource points from power departments, so let's uh, get that taken care of here. See if we can get. We can also get some more resource points there as well, so that's also kind of helpful. But let me see here. We'll just kind of move these for a second. So simulator, we can help our driver out. Uh, second driver press tour, we can do that. Uh, we can also get some cash, which might also be helpful. But we also could, as I said, need we could use some resource points there. So we'll go ahead and do that, just because we do need to get some stuff taken care of here. So let's check out uh, what we got going on here. We need to get this. Read event there, so we got that. So let's go ahead and advance time. So we got ourselves some resource points still here, and yeah, there's nothing we can upgrade at the moment. So that's a bit of a bummer. Check and you know, look here, and yeah, there's nothing really that we can get done at the moment. Everything's kind of locked up still. So we have that, and let's look at what we can do with uh, facilities. Not a whole lot. We can't upgrade engine, which we're not doing that much work over there at the moment, so we don't really need to spend the money on that. Uh, nothing we can really do anywhere else it's looking like. Yeah, so basically we are just kind of stuck at the moment with where we're at. Uh, we do have this race. This one's going to be crazy. Monaco. This one is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, we do have the uh, power supplier, Honda, who is powering our engines. We do have a special little treat that we're going to be able to do at Monaco uh, for the race weekend. So that's going to be fun. But uh, yeah, nothing really going on other than that. So we just got to get some good race finishes. We are slowly getting our performance there to be really competitive. And so hopefully that means we can get a little bit better. But currently, yeah, we're just not really advancing to where we need to be. So... Let me check out what we got here. We got all the driver perks helping me out. Uh, current driver market. Things are pretty expensive. So that's the other thing too is that I'm really kind of thinking Nick DeFries hasn't really advanced that much. So we might let him go after this season depending on uh, what the market is. So, I mean there he is right there. I mean right now he's doing pretty good. But uh, yeah I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But different things to be thinking about money wise to try and get us moving along here because we really could use just some more consistent finishes both from me I definitely need to do that but then also from our second driver as well so anyways guys that's the basic plan and as I said we got a special event that we're gonna have at Monaco with our uh, power supply 
manufacturers. That's going to be fun. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys here next time with Florida Racing in F1. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.